right, all right, all right. Is this tall enough? I don't think so. All right. You ready? Always. You ready? Always, always, and forever. Yeah, that box is destroyed. <laughs> We're not gonna right. sugarcoat anything. Authentic. Hey, tell what it is, but they did you dirty, my man. I know. Woo. All right, all right. Kicks Me Podcast season two and three, two, one. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Kick Street Podcast yes, with your guy, Bobby Kicks. Go T in the house. How you doing, man? Man, I'm good. I'm good. And this is kind of epic, man. What we're yeah. doing right now. You know what yes, I mean? Yes, yes, yes. And a little, well, I guess we'll jump, you know, a little bit into what we're going to be doing today yep. is we're going to do a double unboxing. Okay. Now, has it been a double unboxing before? I've seen unboxings on YouTube, but I've never seen a double. I have not. Okay. I have not. I think we're pioneering this uh this, okay. this this new thing right and, and and if you want to be and be clear this is our it's up there i mean we've done a, a couple this of this is like our unboxing. fifth right? it's up there fifth, up there yeah, it's up there like yeah, yeah it's up there but what's cool about this unboxing is yeah. that this is from our one of our favorite designers from nike ex designers from nike yes sir mr. legend mr aaron cooper ac right. what's going on aaron cooper what's going, what's going on, on man big shout out to you yes we've sir been a big fan since the 90s mm-hmm. put out some awesome gear so this yep. shoe is a collaboration. I'm sure. I'm sure you've seen uh, a lot of this already online. Yeah, you know? it's been flooded. But this is going to be our first review. We ordered yep. these as soon as they came out. As soon as the pre-order was out there, we Day one. we jumped on it. Right? I text you like Bobby kicked you up. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. You 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 yeah, ready? Yeah. You're like yeah. Let's yeah, that, go. That morning also. That yeah. was a great you know uh, a, g- a great chance to get these shoes because I honestly yeah. I thought it was going to be a long wait, but luckily we got our pair. Yeah. We got them you know uh, pretty fast. Yep. Um. So to kind of give you some background, this is from a company called EQLZ. Right, EQLZ, and uh, from what I understand, uh, it's you know uh, I guess um, uh, it's inspired by Equalizer mm-hmm. because basketball. It's a best basically it's a basketball shoe, right? Yeah, it's from Equalizer. That's yeah. the whole premise behind it. Uh, Aaron Cooper, you did an awesome job from what I saw in the pictures. Yep. Um, and, and can I be honest with the yeah. brand? Right. So, um, I, I didn't know what to call it when I first. Yeah, I, I, thought, I thought it was called Equals. Then, mm-hmm. then I saw. Then I was doing more research, and I saw a couple. Of, they have a couple of like. The lifestyle shoes that was called Equalizer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I saw some previous basketball shoes. I was like, ooh. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so yeah, I, for sure. it was different. It wasn't to my liking. So when I saw on the, on a the gram that Aaron Cooper, you know, you know, we love Aaron Cooper. We follow every Sunday. He has his Sunday church message. That's right. That's right? right. Right. That we always plug into and, 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 and he interacts with us as well. Appreciate that. Um, I was excited to see what was this about because yeah. we know his design skill sets and his vision. And he came out of retirement. You know, just yeah. like the Jordan, it's, it felt like you know, yeah, Jordan's yeah, coming yeah, back. Yeah, you know, it's like all right, this this goat, you know, of a designer is coming back to go back into basketball, go yeah. back into performance, something that looks awesome on court yeah. and performs. So, yeah. I mean, that's basically the, the 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 meat of this podcast is to really dive into these shoes that we just got. As you can see, we have boxes here. Same um, shoes, so, so same shoe, same shoe. This is their bas- This is Aaron Cooper's premier basketball shoe called the twenty four seven twenty four seven, right? Which you ball in twenty four seven seven day, days a week, day. you know twenty four seven, right? That's so, right. Um, this is the twenty four seven same colorway. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna give our honest opinion. Honest right? opinions, first glance, we didn't open them, we didn't even peek at them. Nope. It's, st- it's still taped up, and to kind of uh, you know to give you a little bit of a jump into it, first impressions right away were the boxes, delivery boxes, right? They did you dirty. Yeah, on my end, like like mine's a little beat up here. Okay. It's, it's that's an understatement. I'm not I mean, blaming. This is the leaning Eiffel Tower right here. I mean, you got some intention going on. I know. I'm not Man. blaming the company itself because obviously, you know, once it's in the delivery, you yeah. know, shipping, it's like out of the hands, right? But yeah. again, honest reviews. We're gonna look at them for the first time, and yep. we're gonna give us our honest, honest opinion. So, wait, wait, are you? I'm, I'm excited. Like, I'm double right. unboxing. I honestly, we've ha- we've got these on hand for quite a while, and we we're waiting to do this episode because we're already, in epi- you know, in season two. Yeah. We've been showing a lot of content to kind of give your backstory. Travel, so season two been a lot of fun. So a lot of fun, a lot of traveling here and yeah. there, meeting some great people. So yeah. we were waiting to do this episode to finally open them up and really yeah. put them on yeah. court. For yeah. me, I'm excited to try these out on court. 
I know you got a different angle. Well, well, you know, I'll try them on court, right? Because, you know, I, I play ball once in a blue. But I, I want to see the fashion of it, yeah, you know? Yeah. I want to see. I always look at shoes, and I'm like, can they breathe? You know what that means? What's up? Not lacing. It's like, leave them on tuck. Like, okay. like, 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 spread the laces out. I, I like to say spread your wings with okay. laces, right? Okay. Okay. If a shoe is dope, if a shoe, <laughs> if a shoe has a dope design and a dope aesthetic and it's just, and it's, and it's, and it fits your feet right, you can unlace them. You, you don't have to tie them all the way. Let, 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 let them, them breathe. breathe. It's, it's like opening up the collar from like, you know. Facts. Yeah. Okay. Facts. Facts. So you. I'm looking to see are these, uh, do these give me some wings? Can I fly? Not literally, but can I un, undo the laces and, 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 and make them? And I'm wearing more of a fashion, right? The, I don't want to go too much. In, in depth with it, I want to really, really see it because we've never seen this hand. Yeah, exactly hand. right. Exactly um, right. So let me shut up. Let's let me show it. Up. Just want to dive right into it. Let's go. Let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Man. Let's go. All right, we got our uh, weapons of choice here now. Both fifties. I'm really cautious when it comes to stuff like this because you don't want to cut too deep in the box, and then you yeah. just you know accidentally cut the box right. Yeah. So I'm just gonna shave it a little bit and just okay. cut. All right, man. You like a math scientist, man. You know that, right? So you're gonna shave it. You're gonna add some parameters. You're gonna get the depths in there. I'm like. I'm like, let me cut this joint open. Yeah, I'm just, I mean, the box itself, man. I, first class, look at this, you know. So, I know. So I mean, I don't I know mean, how close the box got to the edges, you know. So yeah. I don't wanna. I, I know, I know, the, I know the company is 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 based in the Far East, right? Yes, China, yes. right? So they right. they based out in the Far East. So, um, this is an international, this is international, international shipping, shipping um, right straight from the if, manufacturer. If, if I can critique, if I critique, I think the box could have been a little more sturdy. Sturdier, yes. Just a little 100%. more sturdy, right? Just yes. that's, that's sturdier box. Sturdier box. That's okay. all. Sturdier box. Ooh. I like what I'm seeing here. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, see. Branding on there. All right. Okay. Got some branding. Let's see. Okay. All right. A little branding I saw right yeah. now. What you got? Let me see. Okay. Mine's the opposite. So your branding got EQLZ. Mine's got. It's probably the other side of the box. Yeah, the right? other side of the box. Right? I did damage the box. No, you didn't. You did. You damage the box? I did damage the box. Oh. No, I didn't do it. I'm saying that. Oh, oh, man. So I'm going to pull see, that, see, that's a heartbreaker, man. That's out. a heartbreaker. Oh. But yeah, you know, I'm not uh, picky. Luckily, I'm not as picky. No. But just this little pointer, right? So let's we're doing this. Let me see mine's. See my mine's is all right. It's all right. There's a little there's a little crease. There. I got a couple of re- I got a couple of, I got a devil in the front. Um I like this. Dang, man. I, Bobby Kicks, that hurt my soul, man. So yeah. This this right here hurts my soul. So yeah, the, the box is pretty uh beat up on the outside and the, uh, the shoe box does have a big dent in there. Again, I'm not blaming any one particular, but the shipper needs to give me a nice look. look at this. Look at the sneak peek right okay, here. That little label there. Look at that cool. label right here. Sneak peek. Now, Where's this box. Seat? Yeah. The box right away does remind me of what type of box. This gives me easy box. Yeah, exactly right. This gives me Adidas easy, yeah. just like cardboard, plain, plain, simple. plain Jane, label up top. Give me a little sticker, right? I'm assuming it's Chinese on the label. Yeah. So I see a lot of Chinese writing on yeah. the label. So. Um, so that's dope. Um, and then then I, I'm I'm an eleven point five. I'm eleven point five, which is I'm nine. You lucky well, sample, well. sample size nine. Sample you, size, you, you you nine that roam the world. You get things. You can wear things that I can only dream about. Man. Yeah, and it's you know it's sometimes a little cheaper Sheesh. too. Little yeah. yeah, yeah. Eleven point fives, man. Woo. Yeah, they get up. There. It beat me in the head with prices. Um, so so look 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 at the on the side of the box. It says EQLZ born with nothing. Equalized with everything. Wow. Established 2018. That's kind of dope. That's a, that's a statement. Okay. Born with nothing. Equalized with everything. So again, these are basketball shoes. Eric Cooper wanted to design a good performing basketball shoe. Yep. And they he partnered up with this this brand. Yep. To make that happen. Yep. I'm a little surprised. Honestly, I'm a little surprised he went with you know uh, an ind- like, independent. Like a not, yeah, independent. Yeah. You know. So I but at the same time it's kind of cool because for sure you're going uh, against the big dogs. You know. So and, and this is and, and that's when you know you're confident. Like, you oh, know what? Okay. I've been with Nike. I, I made some iconic sneakers, but I'm confident in my skill sets and in my, my vision to, to help a brand grow yeah. and implant my, my, my mark. So okay. I respect it. All right. Let's open it up right. real quick. All right. Cool. Let's see here. All right, so you mine's all crooked. So it's like hard to open up. It's like, you know, when you, you crack the, the card, the hood yeah. is, like, doesn't close up. You got the St. Eyes crooked eye box. Oh, wow. Okay. There's a lot going on. Ooh, here. Okay. Okay. All right. How you, okay. So I'll, I'm sorry. like that. Okay. So we, you have to slide it up. Yeah. Slide it up. Okay. Okay. Your 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 packing. Yeah. Lo- yeah. Okay. Pack, so packing looks complete. Okay. You got a card right here. This is a card. Again, there's a lot of. Uh, I'm assuming it's Chinese. Yep. And I, again, I'm just assuming. Yep. So I can't read this, but 
lot it's, going on here. But it's, it, it represents, once again, it e- represents- EQLZ, born mm-hmm. with nothing, equalized with everything. All right. Package is dope. Yeah. I respect Nice it. little, nice little uh, reminders. Don't eat. Do not oh, eat. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Where you get that from? It, it's probably it's probably because of this, this little thing. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Package. Oh, oh, yeah. The, 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 yeah. You can't eat these. Yeah. Or even maybe not eating the shoes. Yeah. <laughs> Don't eat the shoes, man. True, true. All right, you ready? Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, Yo. I've been waiting for these, man. Aaron Cooper, thank you for, for coming out of retirement and putting together something for us to enjoy again. Okay. Fire. Okay. We have some heft to it. Okay, it's not too oh. light. I mean, it's not it's crazy light, light, but it does have a basketball feel to it. Oh, That's what you feel. Man. See, remember I told you I gave you a little whisper. Like, you got a little leather. This is all leather. This is leather. This is leather. On the on the uh, what is it? The uh, the toe box. The toe box. The whole the whole the whole mud guard. Oh wow, it is. I'm feeling it. Yeah. The whole mud guard is yeah, leather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's wow, fly. that feels good. That flops. Okay. This little piece right here. I don't know exactly what it is, but in this the middle, the center right here. Yeah. Do these? If these look like I can wing it. I look like I can untuck it, let them loose, put like a little Nike tuck fleece on, you know? I do like the upper. So yeah. check this out. Okay. This is my first, uh, these are my first basketball, like modern basketball shoe purchase. This is your first, let's move the boxes. Yeah, yeah. Cause, cause, the boxes. cause I, I normally buy a bunch of retro shoes. Oh, yeah. So this is my first modern basketball wow. shoe and I chose another brand. That's a big deal. I chose another brand to do that. That's so, a big deal. So again, Aaron Cooper inspired me to look at what he's doing, you know, outside of Nike. So that's awesome. Wow. So so wow. I didn't even think about that about you. This so my, honestly, I like all the all the zero. So so, like so, the, so you don't even know what new tech is with basketball. Really. What, not really, man. I, honestly, I haven't really tried any of like the KDs, the Kyries, or or you know the uh, LeBrons, or even some yeah. of the new Jumpman you know, and Jordans. I've never, yeah. I've never, I've never even tried them on. You, 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 we're missing something that you have to do. Where's the infamous Bobby Kick smell? The Bobby oh, Kick yeah, smell. Yeah. Well, it's, it's a little different because this isn't an OG. That's not, but, but it is an OG. It is an OG. That's the Bobby Kick smell. Look at it. Going in. It doesn't have that classic, you know, vintage smell, which no. I really enjoy. I mean, vintage. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Vintage, but, yeah, yeah. but I mean, Yo, it's a new shoe. This, all right. The first, first, first thing that pops out. I mean, how many of you? What's what's the first thing that pops out on your shoe? This is a flash shoe, right? Wow. The first thing that pops what's the out. Fir- to what's me? the first thing you notice? I do like this part right here. Okay, this is cool. Yep, it has futuristic feels to it, and yep. it reminds me of a classic shoe. Which one? The flight five. The fl- the flight fives. The Nike Jason Air- Kids. The Jason Kids. You how know, the bubbles? Oh, it's so- another version of the bubble. On the okay, side so, so so this has a, a a length. You almost feel this is a lengthy bubble. This is like an extension yeah, of a bubble. This is like you know that that eyeball. You know that. that Got you. I, I just it just feels very futuristic, like what that very shoe futuristic. represented. So when that shoe very came futuristic. out back in ninety five, yep. it had a futuristic feel to it. This one is continuing that like futuristic uh, feel. Even the flight ninety five is the big bubble eyes, right? Yeah. Same thing. Like it just reminds me of that is that 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 continuation of that Got aesthetic. You. Got you. So that's what I noticed. Can I tell you the first thing I noticed? Right. Very first thing I know, as soon as I open it up, same area, but right here, right here. Scotty wow, Pippen two. Right. That's so crazy. Scotty Pippen two. I see it. Right. See I see Pippen? it. The Pippen two. Right. That was that. That was inspired by that car. The whole yes. school. Right there. Oh, that's crazy. Isn't that crazy? That, is, that you're right. That's the first thing I saw. Wow. That's Pippen. it. So Aaron Cooper and you designed the Scotty Pippen twos, right? So I don't know if that was part of your inspiration. But when I first opened this shoe just now, and I saw yes, that, that curve cut, right here, the little, yeah, little cut right, right here, Aaron Cooper, that's a Sky Pippen 2 homage. I don't know. I don't know if he did that on purpose. This is what I know. That's 100% right. Wow. Right. I didn't see that. Mm-hmm. And I'll give you another thing since we're, you know, comparing it to, yeah, yeah, you, know, yeah. you know, other shoes, right? Yeah. Uh, again, Aaron Cooper, yep. Nike guy, right? Um, when I saw these on, uh, uh, you know, in pictures and stuff like that, yep. I was wearing recently a retro pair of one of my favorite players, you know, an Agassi. Uh, Actually. Okay. So the Nike Air Flares. Air Flares. The Nike. Oh, yeah. I was wearing those recently. And when I put them on, I was like, boom. I was like, okay. The color blocking, the original. That, that interior black, black, exterior white. White. You know, I was like, okay, this is exactly it. And, and funny, co- coincidentally, uh, um, another online content creator yep. saw the same thing. Yep. And I was like, okay, now we're on the same page. So I'm not seeing, I'm not, I'm not the only one seeing that. So the Nike Air Flares. Yeah. You know, this, yeah, I see that. You know what? And, and 
this, where Aaron, you know, I remember like a couple months back, Aaron Cooper mentioned in one of his designs um, in another podcast, podcast that he was, he was uh, featured in, talking about the 50-yard the read, right? The 50-yard read, meaning that building sneakers, that you can have, wow, that's a, you could distinguish that sneaker from 50 yards away. Nice. Right? 50-yard read, Aaron Cooper. I remember that. That always stuck with me. This is a 50-yard read. Yeah. If you're in a court and you're all the way back here and everybody else got other sneakers on, you're going to look like, what, what yeah. is that? That black and white? Like, what is that? It, it, it entices you to go a little bit closer. I do appreciate the color scheme because Scott. it goes the opposite of what you see right now on court. Uh, if you notice, a lot of on-court shoes are a lot of, there's a lot of color going on. Yeah, 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 they, yeah. they try to be really loud on court. Yeah. Crazy colors, yeah. you know? Different patterns, stuff like that too. Yeah. So he's taking it back to you. Know right? If they're gonna go crazy, I'm assuming if they're gonna, if they're gonna go, you know, yeah. go crazy with the colors, I'm gonna go sit. Yeah. And, which I like. Yeah. And, and to also add, there's been a couple other sneakers that got that 50 yard black and white read, black interior, white exterior. When I think of like the LeBron threes, okay, the first colorway was a home had a black interior, white exterior. Yes. Nice. When LeBron was in court. His second year, his third year in NBA, you can see that from afar, right? Think about the Jordan 10. Jordan 10 steals. The Jordan 10. This, the steals, but steals has some, they have some distortion because he had the great, but like, think of like the City Pack series. But the majority was that color blocking, like that, you know, that yeah. black interior of the, of the Jordan 10 City, City Pack series. Yeah, yeah. Black interior, white it's, exterior. It's clean. You can see it. And it's cool because, you know, you know, normally you would think of a shoe having the opposite because you want a darker color outside so yeah. that we can do the kind of disguise like or, the, the scuffs you might get and things like that too. Or, but, I mean, whatever. I, this looks great, man. Like, also, like, one more thing I want to nod to. Yeah. Sorry, one more thing. You know, detail police. Man. Detail I, police. I, I, I look at all details. We were, we were. Listen, when I look at this sock line yeah. right here, this is kind of dope, right? He, I like he that. Does, that's the only grid. That's kind of dope. That's the only It's clean. I love that. Yeah. Right? EQLZ 24-7. Leather pull tab. Ooh, Leather pull tab. Yeah. Got to respect it. Nice. Right? And functional. Just how you still want Hopefully, if it's functional, hopefully right? you can actually pull it. Not really. Right? Okay. But this sock liner was, I think, one of the, it was one of the best years of Nike basketball new design. Um, this in particular was the 2016 Nike basketball flight notes. Flight notes, yeah. Introduced the sock liner. That was the first time we saw the sock liner in a basketball shoe. And Nike did uh, running sneakers with it. They use like, a, I think, lunar foam, right? But I remember the 2016 Nike Flyknit basketball at the sock line. So this takes me back to that. Nice. Because in you, you play ball. So in your mind, you're like, how is this functioning? How is this functioning? That's one thing. Yeah, right? exactly. Right, yeah. No, right. when I see like this material that's very flexible and, yeah. and flimsy, you know, when it's not put on, I always like, how does this protect your ankle? How does it really grab it compared to like an old school high top? Which like, it's like, it's leather. Inside. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm sure I'll, I'm sure I'll feel the difference when I put it on, yeah. but I've always been hesitant. You no, know, I, I, it yeah. never registered to me because you old school. Yeah. I, I want like padding. I want like a thick ass, like, you know, a thick just booty around my foot. You, know, you so want, now. you want these, you want the Air Jordan 5, <laughs> right? Yeah. The, the air commands, the air commands, yeah, yeah. you want the high. I, I want that security. I, I want to know that I feel secure. I feel you. One thing that I've noticed about this flight knit, yeah. this type of flight knit, yeah. it's not flight knit, but it's a type of knitting. Yeah. It does remind me of that LeBron shoe. That that came out. I forget which teams. LeBron fifteens. Uh, that that was pretty much all flying. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and and it feels that way because it was very uh, rig rigid. rigid. Not not rigid, but it was very a uh, texture like. This. Yeah. yeah. This has like this slide has like diamond. It's diamond shape. Yeah. Right. As you can see, it's diamond shape. There's something under it. This if you look at like this this if you look at it through light, it's like it's like a base. It's a base under that fly. It's not totally translucent. It's yeah. not totally see through. Yeah. yeah. And you know, and there's no tongue. This is a pure sock line. This is a pure sock. Right, um, Bobby Kicks, go under the shoe. Yeah, you know what? Honestly, yeah. as soon as I picked them up right away, it was very grippy. Look, press it. Look at that. Look bouncy. at bouncy, bouncy, very, very cushiony. It yeah. feels like it feels like a Nike Zoom X phone. I, I mean, I don't know what their technology is in yeah. this, but I'm just saying it feels. Like that's cool. we, we we always go back to Nike just because. Obviously, we Point work. Yeah, exactly right. So, no disrespect to the brand. It's just you know, it's just a simple comparison. No, but you know what? That's you know what you know why that's exciting. Because new basketball sneakers, especially Nikes, when I go like this, if I'm like in a, a sneaker store and I'm just want to see the technology and just like rip it, pause, right? It doesn't, it doesn't have, this is a cushion. Yeah. This is, feel that this white part, I get, I guess the white portion is wow. exposing. That's crazy. What that's that very technology soft. is, Very right? soft. Nope. That's very cool. And then Bobby Kicks, why don't you, what's your thoughts, Rip? Like, like I said, right, right away, when I picked them up out of the box, yeah. this bottom part, like sticking to my finger right now. 
you know, right away. And that was awesome. Like it's it's grippy. Like it's it's grip. There's a lot of grip. Yeah. The, the cool thing about the outsole, right at the first glance, it reminds you of like a, like the scaling of like a lizard, like an mm. iguana or something. Yeah. You know? So it has. I don't know. It has it has some character to it. On the on, on the EQLZ Instagram page, they did mention, and it did showcase this bottom portion, like mold into your feet, right? Yeah. So right, mold into your feet, something like the Adidas feet wear, right? Mm-hmm. The Adidas, right? Remember that. But also, they I remember seeing like scales of like a shark. Okay. Right. I remember seeing like a shark on their site. Oh yeah, I see that. Yeah. So that made. Oh, me- that's right. You're right. You're right. right. The, the inspiration behind it. You're right. 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 Cool. So we got some inspo behind it. Um. And then, you know, this looks like the bottom of a person's foot. It does. It does. It does have that um, that that shape to it. I mean, overall, the it's feel so of it feels shape. good. It feels like hefty. It doesn't feel flimsy. No. Okay. No, so that's, that was my fear. That was my fear at first. It's like, you know, with, 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 with the, with the newer materials, yeah. I'm always like hesitant. Like it just, I don't want it to happen. Like, you know, that, uh, what's his name? Uh, um, 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 uh, Pelican's player that went up to show Zion. Zion. I don't want something like that to happen. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. So, so whenever I think of like like newer style shoes, I yeah. always get nervous. But, but yeah. this one has the leather and surrounding. It, and, and look at the leather. Look, it. You don't see the seams. Look inside. It's all details. Yeah. You don't see the seams. So this is well crafted. Yeah, yeah. It's well crafted. Yeah. So the seams is tucked inside. Yeah. So you got so you got leather surrounding your foot yep. for security. Yep. You got the lightness for the breathability up top. Yep. You know, with the, with, the, with the knit material. Great. Yep. Um. Great little detail with the leather, you know, uh, which how that's cool. Yeah. Minimal branding, which I like. I think it. EQ, no. EQLC right here in the back and then EQLC 24 seven. That's it. Yep. And, and the grip right away as soon as I touch the, uh, the outsole. Very yeah. grippy. Very, very cool. Um, design wise, like I said, this, this part right here. And then we put into this, I was like, wow, that's really cool. Yeah, that's, dude. that's crazy. And it just looks good. It's sleek. Like, it's very right sleek. Now, very sleek. You know what this looks like? And, I th- and this is Nike, in my opinion, taking a little cue off of EQLZ. So Nike had a special, um, you know, just to get everyone excited about the Olympics, right? And they hinting towards the Wimby, Victor Wimbayama, his personal yeah, 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 yeah. They had some prototypes, right, that That's they showed right. in Paris. One of them, which was the Victor Wimbayama prototype, it kind of looked like this. Yeah. It, it kind of had like this bubble. It had this, bu- this, right? this very futuristic yeah, bubble. Yeah. So I'm like, EQ, EQLZI out of the game because Nike showed a prototype of something that looks similar to this. And this was already in production, I imagine. They already had this design this and sketched like, out. Years. Like, it's a year or two, right? So, wow. Bobby Kick, I'm going to rock. I, you going to play Bournies? I'm going to rock these just for fashion. Definitely. Like, I'm definitely going to try these out on court. Yeah. Because, again, all I know are Nike basketball shoes on court. Yep. You know, so I am very curious to see another brand and especially like a modern basketball shoe. Again, yep. this is my first modern basketball shoe. Yeah. I, I, yeah, this is my first one. Another so. detail, right? So look at the back, of course. And then look how, like, it's, it's tight. Like, mm-hmm. it's, like, this feels like it's going to grip your ankle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? This from this angle right here. And then look how, how, in the leather portion, look at the exposed leather. Like that's yeah, a, it's it's like a nice little like embossed aerodynamic or, type, you know? Yeah, it's it's uh look at that. It's cool. It's not just a flat material. No, it, it, has, it has a depth to it. Yeah, it's not just a flat material. They just put it around. Yeah. This is an impressive Aaron Cooper debut, like in that. my opinion. Yes, with another brand for sure. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know? right. No, I mean, I'm 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 liking what I see. Aesthetically, it looks great. It does give me the hints of those classic shoes that I fell in love with, like the, fi- like the Flight 5s, yeah, the Flight 95s, yeah. with the bubble, that little nod to the Pippin. That's yeah. kind of cool. That's very, very cool. Um, yeah. The Nike Air Flare. The, yes, the, the Air the Flare. inside, outside. The Nike Air Flare. Exactly. You know, right. How do you feel about the shoelaces? Uh, good question. I see. Right? Like, they're, like, they're thick. Right? Okay. Yo. Uh, right? Huh. But, 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 yeah, man. I I I think the two laces are cool. Yeah, I'm a snob. I would have if we would have had like a metal tip, you know, like I oh, wouldn't okay. mind this. Right, a nice but, little touch. Yeah, nice little touch, but just just looks cool to me. All right, I'm gonna take out the paper real quick and just gonna put my hand in there and see. Yeah. Oh wow, it feels really good in there. Okay, I ain't gonna respond to that. <laughs> <laughs> Having fun. Having fun. No, yeah. It, okay. Let me see. The you insole okay. is very grippy. Insole, insole. Yes, and that's actually. Oh, oh you feel that? Oh, <laughs> yeah, no, no. Wait a minute. That's, that's a that's a good basketball feature. That's a good basketball feature. You what know, is that? Can you take it out? Oh, I'm trying. Hey, it yo, sounds yo, all wrong. Man. Oh, you can. you can. Let's see. 
wait a minute. Okay, so they didn't, they didn't, that, and it has a shine to it. So there's grip in there. It's like, it's like, it, like, like little pebble rubber. Okay. Like rubber. Let me share this with you. Yeah. Now, this is a great detail. Aaron, you did an awesome job with this because I actually buy insert, uh, insole to replace that has grip in there because I'm looking for that in basketball shoes. A lot of basketball shoes don't have that. Yeah. So this, it's already built in. What's, uh, I can't it, tell what it is. It feels a little, is a it little polyurethane? Foamy. It's, oh, it's, it's a little it, foamy. It is foam. It feels a little foamy. Yeah. That's not, that's not bad. It's very bouncy, very, very cushiony. Wow. But this is awesome. I love what they did with this. This, this wow. has a grip. This reminds me of like, you know, like, like bicycle handles that have that extra grip to it. It like, you know, it, it, it provides a grip. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. That's impressive. You don't see this on a basketball shoe. No. That, like that, I said, your feet is going to be locked in place. It locked in place. Honestly, I actually buy socks that has the type of material on the bottom you do that. so I can add that grip on there. Because again, when you're sweating, yeah. your foot slides inside the sock and inside the shoe. When you're sweating, it just true, produces true, that true. heat and true. it just slides. It's true. slippery in there. True. So this is an awesome feature to, to counter that. So, 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 you, so your feet is breathing because, you know, we have this, especially up top, you have these, uh, you have this mesh that's see-through. Okay. So the, 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 the their version of fly knit is see-through up above. So your feet's going to breathe. Right. And you got the grip right here. This is, this, this is, this is amazing. Man. Aaron Cooper is really good about details. Yeah. Really good about details. And if you notice, if you notice, he's a healthy guy. Like he's all about performance. He's yeah. he's a health nut. Yeah. You know, so see. so I could see him being like, okay, what do I want out of a shoe? What yeah. am I looking for? Like I'm sure he. I mean, even in previous interviews that I that I listened to, he was back in Nike's days. He was playing with the players. Yeah, he was like you know just shooting around with the players, getting a feel for what they were, how they were using the shoes. Yeah, I could see him doing that same process for himself, maybe yeah. other players that he's testing out with. No, oh, this is great, man. This that's, is, that's awesome. This is a this great is an overall. This is an overall amazing shoe. Very, very cool. I'm, 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 and I'm not just saying that to say that. Like the details, the 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 attention to details. Like this is an overall great looking shoe. Great looking. And then you just pointed out the insoles, which is you don't see that basketball shoes. And then even we can literally press inside. You can feel that cushion. You can feel right that, away. Cushion, that foam type cushion. That comfort. And it's cool when you press it down, yeah. like these little uh, scales, they, they move with it. So that way mm. it's, it's working with you, not against you. So it basically like, you know, when you think of like an armadillo, you know, when it moves, it kind of like goes inside. That's what that movement comparison. produces like, you know, yeah. it's protection, but it also moves with it. So to me, that's how I see this. When you push it down, everything else moves with it, like these little scales. Damn. I, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm with you on the details, you know, and I'm looking at more of like, this how is, I would perform with it, you know? If I if I could be honest with you, if I could just really, really be honest, this, we in 2024, this might be the best looking, I'm just going off of aesthetics. Yeah, right now. This might be the best looking basketball sneaker to date. Yeah. Now, the next basketball sneaker that I think looks good are the Adidas AE1, the sure. Ant Man. Yeah, yeah. Aesthetically different, yeah, yeah. futuristic. I heard some good um on core performance review performance reviews. Nice. Um but aesthetically, this is yeah, it's up there for sure. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm, I'm, very, I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed. I see little blue Where? details here and there, you know, little blue. Okay. You see that? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But minimal, 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 minimal. I, minimal. I, I know, I know a lot of times, I'm not saying this is the case, but a lot of times when a new product comes out of this assembly line, the first batch, it's it can be a little different than the actual like later production, mm -hmm. right? Again, this was I'm not saying this particular, but I'm just saying in general, in, general. New, in general, the first iPods, the new, the first anything yeah, yeah, will yeah, always yeah. be, you know, a little yeah. thing. So, anyways, th this is something that we wanted to do to provide honest feedback from fans mm -hmm. that appreciate your history, yes, Aaron Cooper, I mean, three, man. you know, and the things that you've done for us growing up. And the impact you've had with us. So, you know, this is all coming from all love and all appreciation. So, again, I'm going to be very honest about the things that I'll notice here and there. But overall, I'm very impressed. I'm very happy. I'm very this, happy. I, I, I'm, I think this is... Because I've seen worse with Nike, you know, when it comes oh, to... Like, so I don't... I don't, I don't see... What I see here is innovation. And I see simplistic creativity. Heck yeah. It's simple, but it's also creative. Right? 
It's like our piece. Exactly right. What you just said represented how I was when I was in design school. Mm -hmm. I was literally like looking to simplify, but create that wow factor. Mm -hmm. And so I could see that same mindset when it comes to Aaron Cooper's designs. He's pretty modern. Yeah. But he's classic too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and I appreciate him as an individual because he's very athletic. Yep. You know, he takes care of himself. He's very, he's a health nut. Which yep. If you, if you check out his page, he's very big on that. He yep. loves design. Yep. And he's a, he's a, he's a pretty simple guy. He's not like, he's not flashy. And, and he's a great educator. He's a, exactly right. And so just, if you follow his page, you'll yeah, see that. Yeah, follow his page and follow, especially every Sunday. Of course, going to church with Aaron Cooper on Sunday. <laughs> you know what I also like? I like this little, this little booty pop. Yeah. <laughs> this little booty pop right yeah, there, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. That little booty pop, like that, that adds to the futuristic avenue of this shoe. Let me saying? compare size real quick. Hey, yo. I know, I know, I know. I keep saying the wrong thing. Right? <laughs> I just want to see if it's true to size and. Yeah, I mean. We'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see, see when we put it on. But I mean, overall, I am very curious about the size line on this shoe versus what I've been wearing so far, you know, so. I, about, here's the thing. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm a natural 11. Okay. Um, I get 11 and a half just to add a little space to the, to the mix, okay. right? Space to the mix. Um, but I could do 11 too, but I wanted 11 and a half. And we're looking at my other 11 and a half just visually. This looks like right on par. Um, I just really love this. I ain't gonna lie, man. I love this design, man. I've been waiting forever to open up this box. I know. I know. We've been waiting patiently. I know. It was worth the wait. It is worth the wait. It was worth the wait. Now, 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 also, sorry to cut you off. My bad. They recently dropped. Not recently, but over the past couple of weeks, and I don't want to date myself for this episode, but they have an all white pair and they have an all black pair. What's your thoughts on? I'm a fan of all white shoes okay. because they're uncommon, and I do I I personally do a good job of keeping them clean. Yep. So I mean, I bought the all white Air Bacons. Yep. You know, and they just look good on court. Honestly, like it's so different than what yep. you see right now on court. I think they're not. I think they're pretty nice. Yep. The all white ones. I would get all the all white ones. The all black. I'm like the, the black will blend in too much with any other shoe. But when you see True. an all white shoe, it's like you're getting people's attention. So True. I like the all white. True. I I I I'm not a fan of either. Okay. This is the only. Direction. This is a good combination of both. Yeah. The best of both worlds. This is the only direction. And I'm really go. glad they released this one first. Yes, me too. Because you me got too. you got you got both. Yeah, me ones, too. You know? So me too. I'm very happy about that. But the all white one is, I think, the next. Depending on how this goes down, performance wise and and aesthetically and so on, because I'm really, you know, really, really, I really want to try these out, yep. you know, and, and uh, yep. get, a, get, the, the, get, get the experience with them. So once you know the all we'll white do? ones come out, yeah. Yep. You know what we'll do? We'll, uh, you know, when, when we release this episode, we'll just, we just provide, provide people with just some B-roll, yep. like put it on Instagram, put it on our YouTube, yeah. right? So showing you, sure. yeah, yeah. Showing you playing ball and them, showing you cuts, things that they just, showing me just chilling, I'm on the bench, just chilling, look, looking at you. Leave, leave the laces on top. You know what I mean? Let them breathe. Yeah. Casually. Let them breathe a little bit. Uh, uh, Aaron Cooper, EQLZ, I know that's not the purpose of this shoe. This is a basketball shoe. But I just want to let you know this is also a fashionable shoe as well. Okay. Right? And so I think I, he had that in mind. I think yeah, it's, it's like, you know what? Shoe. I want to have something that looks good off, off and on court, right? Yeah. Um, this is going to be my indoor basketball shoe. Yeah. I'm yeah, not going to yeah, take these yeah. outside. Yeah, know? yeah. These you look know. too good to go outside. Yeah, I agree. Because I, I will agree. beat them up if I go outside. Right? I agree. But yeah, I these agree. are indoor basketball shoes. Look for the follow up. Yep. My performance review. Yep. Go to your fashion review. Yep. Right. These are some, these are some sweats. These are some cool shorts. Some cool socks. Let the let the laces breathe. Let it fly. Let it fly. Let it fly. Man, so much more. But obviously, like you know, we're gonna follow up with more de uh, details. On yeah. Instagram. Yeah. So look for that. Yeah. Um, Aaron Cooper, awesome job. EQLZ twenty four seven. Great job. Hey, great basketball shoe. I'm not disrespecting your other basketball shoes, but this is the best looking basketball shoe you got in your site or that I've seen from the brand since 2018. And Salute. I, and I'm glad you came back at yes. retirement. And, and Welcome back, AC. And I'm excited to see what else you have in the mix. So yep. I know I'm, I'm very excited, man. All right. Well, EQZ, Equalizer, e Equality, everything you want to do with the EQLC, you just want to just say, this shoe is dope. The 24 7. Check it out, guys. If you haven't uh, followed Aaron Cooper's page, go check him out. You can actually uh, see his post through our uh, page as well. Um, also, follow the EQLZ Instagram site as well. They also give you hints on when new colorways are dropping, when they're going to release. Check out the website. They got some dope casual shoes, they chill do. suits, yeah. shoe shoes, right? That you can flow with. But this, this is their, this is their premiere collaboration with Aaron Cooper basketball shoe. 
So definitely follow them, E Q L Z on Instagram. Yeah, we'll have links to we'll yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. One one quick thing that I liked about the equal E Q L Z page on Instagram. Yep. They had cool photographs of their thought process, design yes. process behind yes. the scenes. They have yes. players wearing them with that. Yes. I like that. I like having that inside look into a company's, you know, uh, mindset. Yes. So that was really cool to see. Good but point. like I said, we're gonna have links on our page. Yeah. Um, check them out. And I can't wait to do the review, man. Aaron Cooper, thank you again for, for putting out some awesome stuff. Thank you. Thank thank you for the attention to details. Thank you for the aesthetics. Thank you for the tech. I know the tech gonna be crazy. And uh welcome back. All right, man. That wraps up Kick Street Podcast. Thank you for joining us on this episode. Make sure to follow us and do all that good stuff. And we'll see you in the next uh, episode, man. We'll see you next episode. This is how we do it. Season two. Awesome, man. Peace. Thank you for watching this episode of Kick Street. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any episodes. And stay connected with us on Instagram and these podcast platforms listed here. We also want to hear from you. So make sure to comment below and give us your thoughts. Thanks again for your support and we'll see you next time.